my dear sisters and brothers we are here to worship worship the holy name of jesus we are here to bless our god we are here to praise him rejoice in the presence of our god our aches and our ailments the problems of our life have made us a lord sad sad and we felt miserable we thought at one time or other we thought even god did not care for us we wondered why the lord is not intervening into our problem we cried the lord did not hear us we pleaded the lord did not care and we lost even our faith because of the misery that we are going through in our personal life in our family life our children who go astray a family there is no peace our bodies that are sick we are burdened by the many things that's happening to us my dear sisters and brothers this morning we are here to rejoice the time of our liberation is come the time of god's intervention is right here we are going to worship worship our god every worshiper brings an offering the one offering we want to bring today to our god is the bundle of the aches and ailments of our body the bundle of the problems that make us anxious the bundle of the misery in our family life we want to bring it to the lord we want to offer it at the feet of jesus jesus said a word a word that we shall never forget jesus said whoever comes to me i will not reject shall we say hallelujah for that hallelujah 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 this morning the lord will not reject us the lord will not reject our offering jesus also said mark 11 24 25 jesus said when you stand pray believe what is prayed for is already granted already granted when already granted what do we say we say thank you right we praise our god that's why i said the time of god's intervention is right here every one of us who is sitting here every one of us we did not come here by chance no that way no one can come to jesus and jesus said it john 6:44 no one can come to me no one can come to me unless my father draws him unless my father draws her no one can come to me we have come to jesus being drawn by the heavenly father if the heavenly father has drawn us into the presence of jesus there's a plan behind it a plan our heavenly father after having seen the tears in our eyes after having seen the pain in our bodies the problems in our life the heavenly father has drawn us into the presence of jesus for jesus to intervene to touch and heal us let us begin our prayer with this great hope and faith in our hearts this is the moment of god's intervention let's all kneel down 
welcoming Jesus. Worshipping the Lord. On bended knees we come. Those of you who can may kneel down. Others may stand. On bended knees we want to come. We want to come to the presence of our God. We want to worship Him. We want to accept Him as the Lord and Savior. We want to wait upon Him until He accepts our offering, the bundle of aches and ailments that we want to offer to Him this morning. Let us sing together, worshiping and adoring our God. On bended knees we come. On bended knees I come, with a humble heart I come, bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands to you as I pledge my life for you. Worship you in spirit, I worship you in truth, make my life a holy place unto you. On bended knees I come, with a humble heart I come, bowing down before your holy throne. Lifting holy hands to you as I pledge my life for you. I worship you in spirit. I worship you in truth. Make my life a holy place unto you. Make my life a holy place. I come with a humble heart. I come bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands to you as I pledge my life for you. I worship you in spirit, I worship you in truth. Take my life for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I offer to you. I offer to you all the burden. All the burden of my life. Of my life. All the aches and ailments. All the aches and ailments of my body. Of my body. I offer to you. I offer to you all the woes. All the woes of my family. Of my family. I offer to you. I offer. Every disturbance, every disturbance, all the distress, all the distress in my mind, in my mind. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Friends, and see, Steffi, Philip, Sebastiana. The Lord is telling you, my child, I have called you by name, your name I have carved on my palm, a message to everyone. Jesus calls some people by name, but the message is for everyone. How personal our God is. He knows us. He knows everything that's gone wrong with our life, with our family, with our children. The Lord has invited us 
into his presence to comfort to console and to heal hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 the soul stand up there's tell him here we are here i am here we are here we are offering to him every ailment of our body here we are because we are convinced because we believe the lord will take charge the lord will take authority over everything wrong in our life there's no one here with an acute problem of the back a backache that stifles that person's life the lord has chosen this time to reveal his glory someone here with a tumor in the brain the lord's power is flowing in to heal that person there's a mother here very anxious about the son the lord is taking charge the lord is taking charge of the problem of that son the lord is filling that young person with love with love and peace there are there are parents here very anxious about their children who are married the marriage almost almost breaking the lord is intervening the lord is intervening to save those marriages to save those families there are there are my brothers and sisters here with arthritic pain and swelling the lord is telling them i am the lord i am the lord that healeth thee what god said centuries ago to his people israel the people of god were dying and moses and aaron interceded and god said the word of god came resounding in the horizon god said i am i am the lord that healeth thee one of the first revelations about our god who is our god i am i am the lord that healeth thee let's claim this revelation let's tell him lord here we are waiting in prayer praising you believing that you will that you will touch us you will heal us here we are here we are lifting our hands to you here we are giving you thanks for all you do as we pray and worship you holy name
for days we cannot see. For all that's yet to be, the trials we may have to face, but we'll be leaning on Your grace. It will be our strength that saves us. Your love that makes us strong. Sing the song Here we are Lifting our hands singing Here we are Giving you thanks For all you do As we pray Worship your holy name. You are here, dwelling within a frame. Dwelling within. Edwin Kevin The Lord is telling you Do not fear I am the Lord your God I have held your right hand I will lead you on Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. My dear sisters and brothers, let me read for you 
from the gospel according to mark chapter 7 verses 31 to 37 again jesus left the district of tyre and went by the way of sidon to the sea of galilee into the district of the capolis and people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him he took him off by himself away from the crowd he put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him ephatha that is be opened and immediately the man's ears were opened his speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly he ordered them not to tell anyone but the more he ordered them not to the more they proclaimed it they were exceedingly astonished and they said he has done all things well he makes the deaf hear and the mute speak the gospel of the lord my dear sisters and brothers the people were astonished a phrase that occurs in the gospels again and again the people were astonished when jesus healed the lepers when jesus multiplied bread and fed large crowds the people were astonished when jesus raised lazarus from death to life the people were astonished when jesus calmed the raging sea and the roaring waves the people were astonished when jesus opened the eyes of bartimaeus the people were astonished whenever god intervenes we will be astonished because what god does is great things he opened the eyes of the blind he opens the ears of the deaf he heals the paralyzed he raises the dead to life who is this everybody asked who is this they knew and we know who is this he saw god he has authority over every ailment authority over every problem authority over every sin and that is our confidence my god can command and when he commands even the dead will rise to life and the lord is come today to take authority over every ailment of our body the deaf man the people brought to jesus this man could not hear this man could not speak 
And the people brought him to Jesus with great faith. And Jesus took this deaf man to a separate place. Jesus wanted to deal with him in a one-to-one -one basis. And Jesus put his fingers into his ears and with his fiddle touched his tongue in a very personal way. The deafness of this man was the personal care of Jesus. He cared so much that he wanted to show how much he loved. How much he loved. He took time out for him. Now my dear sisters and brothers, your pain is the concern of Jesus. Your sickness is the concern of Jesus. The problem of your children is the concern of Jesus. Jesus wants to heal. Jesus wants to set us free. Jesus wants to touch us in a very personal way. His power will flow into us. All we need to do is to believe in Him, is to trust in His love. Hallelujah. Shall all of us raise our hands up and say, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let us offer to Him every problem of our body. Your body, my brother, my sister, your body is molded by Jesus. Molded by Jesus in such a way, your body will be of great help to you. To help you. To help you. But today perhaps your body is not helping you. Your body is an impediment. Your body is a pain to you. And the Lord sees this. But the Lord has drawn you into His presence. The Lord knows this. For years perhaps, you have been praying. For months perhaps. And the Lord has heard it. This moment is the answer to your prayers. This moment the Lord has chosen to intervene miraculously in the, into the misery of your life. Let us offer to Him with great faith, believing He will do everything great for us. We will be astounded by what God does for us. Only we shall wait for it. We shall pray for it. We shall believe in it. That our God is great. He is mighty to save. He is indeed mighty to save. He will use His might. He will use his power, his power to save us. He will take authority. There's something so encouraging in the Gospels. No sick person came to Jesus and went back sick because a God is merciful. A God is compassionate. He's mighty to save. Let us let us offer to Him every weakness of our body, every ailment of our body, every pain in our mind, every problem in our family. And let us believe this. The Lord is mighty to save. We call Him the Almighty. What does that mean? My God is Almighty. There's no might mightier, bigger, greater than the might of our God. The might of our God is compassion, is love. And that love, the Lord has for you and for me, for every one of us, is waiting to show that love to us. Let's all stand up. Let's all stand up with great, great faith in our hearts, offering to Him, offering to Him, everything that's gone wrong with us and we want to tell him lord i believe because you are mighty to save you're mighty you're almighty god 
I trust in your mercy, in your compassion. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior, the hope of a nation. And Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, forever. Of the world's salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, forever. Of the world's salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me. All my fears and failures. And fill my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. And Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty.
Jesus, thank you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. I shine your light and let the whole world see. I'm singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We sing for the glory of the risen King. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Joel. Mitchell, Lawrence, Guntur, Regina, Fabita. The Lord is telling you, I am your shepherd. I will bind up your wounds. I will take you to pastures green and waters fresh. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. My dear sisters and brothers, we want to spend some time praying for others. When our children are sick, we know how burdened we are. When our children go astray, we know how broken we are. The same is true of all the parents. When their children go astray, when their children are sick and there are such parents here, we want to pray for them, for their children. As God is concerned about such parents, we must be concerned about them that God may heal their children, that God may intervene into the lives of those children. When we fall sick, we would know how anxious we become. And there are sick people here, very desperate. And we want to take their feelings into our hearts. And we want to offer them to God, believing God is more concerned about them than we are. Because God loves. His compassion, His mercy, there is offered to the Lord every ailment, every ache of all the people here that together we may experience God's power, God's healing power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We intercede with Mother Mary. Mother Mary at Cana, she had a request to Jesus. They have no wine. And that request of Mother Mary, Jesus could not reject. Jesus intervened miraculously. This moment, Mother Mary is praying for us. We are her children. We are offered to her by Jesus as her children for her to be concerned about us, for her to pray for us. But the Mary is praying for us. All the angels and saints are praying for us. All the heaven is interceding for us. This moment this moment is a moment of prayer for others that love well up in our hearts 
as love welled up in the heart of Mother Mary. When she saw the need, the problem in the family at Cana. Let's pray for others. Let's also pray for all the sick people around the world. For thousands and millions in the world around. We don't know. We don't know them. But God knows them. God knows their names. And we won't intercede for every one of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Those of you having a problem of arthritis, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you with Mother Mary. We want to pray for you with all the angels and saints in heaven, that the Lord may heal you of your arthritis. Those who be having a problem of the knee joints, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. The Lord carrying the cross to Calvary, He fell. He fell on His knees. Under the weight of the cross, his knees were broken. And that pain Jesus offered for all the men and women having a problem of the knee joints, that they may be healed. With Jesus, we also want to offer the pain of your knees to the Heavenly Father. And those who be having a problem of the backache, could you please stand up? A woman with a hunchback was in the crowd. Jesus went to her. Jesus touched her. And she was able to stand up straight. Same Jesus is here. He wants to heal you. Everyone with a back problem. And those of you having a problem of the shoulders. Could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. Jesus carried his cross on his shoulders. And the terrible pain he felt on his shoulders. With that pain of Jesus. We want to offer all our pain to the Heavenly Father. Jesus suffered. He offered himself to suffer for our healing, for our salvation. We want to pray for you. Those of you having a problem of the pain on the legs, could you please stand up? Jesus, he healed the paralyzed. Some of you having a burning sensation under your feet, especially when you stand up. Those of you having that problem, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. We want to pray that God's mercy and compassion may flow into you now. Those standing up and those sitting down, raise your hands up and touch one person standing near you. Jesus said, lay your hands on the sick and pray. And Jesus promised the sick will be healed. We claim that promise for our brothers and sisters that the sick will be healed. When we lay our hand on the sick and pray, we are laying our hand on the sick and pray in the command of Jesus, with the authority of Jesus, obeying His, His word. Let's pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We trust in your mercy and power. Your compassion. We praise you, Jesus. Your mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your mercy come upon my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 
cover is flowing down to us. He's the Lord. He's the Savior. We believe. We trust in Him. We trust in the power of our God. Some of you, some of you had a problem with your shoulders. But now, without any pain, any stiffness of the shoulders, you are able to raise your arms up. Also, we had a problem. Raise your arms up and see the Lord has healed you. Those of you who feel this, come forward. Come forward to praise and thank our God. To praise and thank our God. Your problem on the shoulders, the Lord has taken away. So we feel this. Come forward. Be a witness to the Lord. Be a witness to the Lord to praise Him, to thank Him. Let's clap our hands and praise our God. We praise You, Jesus. We thank You, Lord. We worship You. We adore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Some of you, with a problem of the knee joint, the knee joint, the pain, a stiffness, a weakness, that pain of the knee joint, the Lord has taken away. So we've got this healing. Come forward. Come forward to praise and thank our God. A God is waiting. A God is waiting for you. Let's clap our hands and praise our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, so we had a problem of your fingers. You were not able to fold your fingers. You were not able to straighten your fingers up. Now you are free with your fingers. So, so we've got this healing. Come forward. Come forward to praise, to praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, so we've got any other healing, any other healing, come forward. Come forward to praise and thank the Lord. Claim your healing from the Lord and come forward. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, you, Lord. Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the Savior. Mercy, you are our God. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. My dear sisters and brothers, believe this. Your healing has started. Your healing has started. You know, there is a clear gospel record, no sick person who went to Jesus remained sick. Every one of them was healed. Power flowed out of Jesus and healed. And the power of Jesus has flowed into your body, into every part of your body that is sick. The Lord has healed you and this healing will be manifested in the days to come. And this is the progressive healing. Let's claim this from the Lord Jesus. and praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Glorious Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Let's all kneel down and receive the blessing of the Lord. When you kneel down, you will realize that that healing for your knee joints, that healing for your back, that the Lord has given you. We want to praise God. We want to praise God from this moment. We praise God. Let us let's sing together. Let's sing together, worshiping our God. So. 